Now, have you ever fancied painting your own marker to make it look really rugged, rough, and ready for battle? I guess I better show you how. Okay, to start with, sandpaper. Keying the surface is massively helpful when applying the paint in the next step, so don't skip this one. Remove any sanding dust and debris with some kitchen roll. Right, now we're gonna start with some acrylic burnt umber brown. This is a really good earthy, muddy color. So apply some on your rough old brush and wipe off any excess, leaving very little on the end of the brush. Then lightly apply roughly over the whole piece. Next, we have some cadmium yellow. Now this is just to simply raise some highlights using the same dry pressing technique we've been using all the way through. Now don't apply too much. Be patient and build your layers. It's all about layering each color on top of each other, creating the effect we are going for. I find using your finger to blend colors together works really, really well. And who doesn't love getting covered in paint? Next, we have some nice, rich, copper-colored acrylic. Using the same brush, lightly catch the exposed edges of the piece, blending it as you go with your fingers. You don't need to let any of the layers dry in between. It all helps to marry each color together. Just lightly catch any surface you'd expect to take the most impacts and rubs against hard surfaces. We'll give it a light sanding just to take off any overbrushing and to key the next layer. Once you've sanded it down, you can simply add more copper to catch the edges. Just keep going till you step back and you think, yeah. It's at this point you really see some details appearing and it starts to get very exciting. Once you're starting to feel happy with the copper application, get your hands on some black calligraphy ink. Some kitchen towel and lightly dab 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 while rubbing your finger to darken and merge the copper with the brown underlay to bring everything together. It almost gives areas a burnt effect. It's really, really nice. Another quick sand. Right, now this bit feels a little bit odd at first. Spraying all your hard work dry brushing, but stay with me. Lightly spray, quick short bursts. Don't totally cover it. Don't have to be perfect. Back to sanding again. Now you're going to be exposing the underlayer of copper and brown and yellow. Now we get the oohs and the ahs. Now we're just applying a little bit more brown, a little bit more copper, rinsing and repeating the previous steps until you're happy with how it looks. And if you feel you've gone a little bit too far, simply sand it back to the previous step. 
There's no concrete, definitive way you should do this. You're unique, your marker is unique. Have fun, enjoy it, and create. like to thank everyone for watching and if you do try this yourself i'd love to see your efforts so find me on facebook instagram twitter or even you know send me a link to your website i don't care i want to see your work your inspirations so that we can all inspire each other to create just just create because creating is great it, oh my hand in my hand there's a